Hello and welcome to another revision video from us here at High Tunstall PE. Um, as all YouTubers do, be sure to hit subscribe, like the page, like the video, share it to all your friends. Let's get over, let's get over five likes for this video. That'd be fantastic. Right, joking aside, we're here to talk about um, the three different seasons that take place uh, for athletes that are training for events or particular competitions. Okay, so this is the training seasons revision video. So. Basically, the split, the, the, if you think of the year, all right, it's split into three distinct phases. All right, you've got pre-season, you've got peak or competition season, and then you've got post-season. So if we start with pre-season, um, this will usually be a case of um, building up fitness, all right, building up so the athlete or the performer is ready to start their competitive season. So it, training would focus on, um, it'd look at the training principles, so it'd follow up um, the sport, specific, make sure it's specific, make sure it progresses and builds up, make sure the body's overloaded to help adaptations occur, um, take into account reversibility so progress isn't lost, and tedium, so it's training's mixed up, it's fresh, it's exciting, um, so that athlete is ready to start their particular event on the first day of the season. They want to be in optimum condition, not carrying any injuries, not being too tired. They need to be ready to go for that particular um, start of the season. Peak or competition season, um, if you think about, let's use a footballer for example, they have 46 games in a standard league season. Um, throughout their training when the season started, it's just about maintaining, it's about optimum. And you might actually do skill specific sessions to look to improve a particular element of their performance as well. So it's about maintaining, not picking up any injuries. Um, so basically preparing for a game, playing a game, recovery and repeat. Okay, so that during the main element of the season. Um, after that, obviously, when the season's finished, you've got post-season. Um, this is about kind of, um, it's about recovery. Okay, so it's about allowing the body to, allowing the body to rest, allowing those tired muscles to uh, recover as well. Um, it's about reflection. So in the post-season, you might reflect about how the season's gone. How did your training go? Um, would you train differently next season? What would you alter? Would you train harder? Would you train less if you've been picking up injuries? Um, but it's also about maintaining that fitness as well. You don't want to be right at the top of your peak kind of training uh, and then allow it to drop. I mean, you know, 25 years ago, footballers used to go on holiday and used to drink and really let their fitness drop and then have to pick it up. But the modern day kind of athlete um, in post-season... I mean, they'll go on holiday now and train every day because they'll just want to keep topping up and maintaining that fitness so when they join pre-season, they haven't got too much work to do in order to get back to where they are. So, what you need to know is there's three main phases. So, you've got your pre-season, all right, before um, the competition starts. Main season, when you've got games week in, week out, or races or matches or performances or whatever it is in the middle and then you've got post season where it's about recovery reflection and getting your body uh, back ready for the next season where the cycle begins once again cheers thank you that was training seasons